We started in 2017. Until this year, it will be five years. And during these five years, I think we achieved a lot. We start from scratch and just a simple idea to create platform for Chinese music in the West. The U.S. China Music Institute is an incredibly important part of the conservatory's mission. We are trying to connect music with a broader community both locally and around the world. We require all our undergraduate students to do a double degree, so they're working on a Bachelor of Music and a Bachelor of Arts in another non-music field. My major is Arhu. Another major is Global and International Study. And right now I'm working on my senior project. My topic is about anti-aging violence after the COVID. So some people did ask me, what's the point to learn Chinese music in the West? Oh, they're completely wrong. People ask this question, that means they don't have a breadth of mind because their, their vision is narrow. Let's look at our students, right? They meet different people, they expand the horizon. They play different music pieces composed by you know, Westerners and composed by Chinese. You expand your vision. Uh, we believe that Bard students and faculty should be joining with people from around the world. We think there are a few better places where people can speak to each other uh, than through music. Um, and we believe it's a great venue from which uh, people, young people, can exchange ideas and learn from each other. I think the, the most important thing is that in a time of growing global tension, uh, it's really important to find ways in which we can communicate with each other and the U.S.-China Music Institute represents the best of those values. One of the mission is to promoting Chinese music through performance. Many Western um, people don't know anything about Chinese music. How do you want them to support Chinese music by not knowing it? I'll be honest, I don't know a, a lot about um, a lot of the Chinese instruments, but um, th they're all really compelling. They've got like interest new sounds are always interesting to me. I had grown up listening to classical music and playing classical music, and so to hear both, um, especially the flute, the Chinese flute was really interesting um, in the orchestral setting. And yeah, I mean, I was really impressed with how well they blended together. I'm really curious about different styles of music and different instruments, so this kind of East-West collaboration really appealed to me. You need to create opportunity for them to listen to Chinese music and to know what's going on in China in today's uh, China's music world. The latest creation is called Bard East-West Ensemble. The East-West Ensemble is a truly unique new group. Jin Dong Tsai, our, the director, the founder of the U.S. China Music Institute, has been wanting to create um, lots of different new ways for um, traditional Western musicians to come together with traditional Eastern musicians um, and play their instruments together. One of the exciting things about it is that this ensemble will be playing some traditional American music that's been newly arranged for this unique group of instruments. What's been even more special for me is to see how um, some of the, the Chinese audiences um, here are reacting to it. So we get a lot of um, Chinese Americans coming to our performances and for most of them it's the first time they're seeing American musicians play Chinese music and I think that's that's been very moving for, for a lot of people to see this Chinese tradition honored and respected and performed um, by world-class musicians and, and treating it as it should be treated with the same level of care as we would play Beethoven or, or something that's more well known to a Western audience. I was born here, but my parents are from China and Chinese is, is in my blood. It's my culture. We are in this pandemic. We've been getting through a pandemic. We haven't been able to get to China. And so to be able to have um, Bard College and the U US CMI to put on such a cultural Chinese event was very touching for, for all of us. I felt uh, this emotion that it was this, finally, uh, I can be part of China again and, and uh, experience this. It's, I can feel the emotion now. We've done a whole series of concerts now with people playing Chinese instruments and Western instruments. And it's pretty amazing when they get going. 
how well things fit together. It's just a reminder that cultures are very different, but sometimes you bring them together and they create a, a different kind of hybrid music. It's really wonderful to see that because it suggests exactly the kind of collaboration we urgently need in other areas. After this five years, we feel, you know, we have very unique position in the Western music world. Next five years, we will make the institute even more solid, including the degree program, and also we want to strengthen research, try to create Chinese music database in the West. Another exciting thing is we are planning to build a building, Chinese Music Pavilion. It will be the home of the Institute. In the Western world, in the West Conservatory, you have permanent building dedicated to promoting Chinese music. To accomplish all those goals, we need support. We need uh, financial supporters, we need uh, technical support, USCMI is a gift to the world to bring people to learn, to understand, and to enjoy the beauty of the Chinese culture and music. I'm sure the new building can bring people an immersive experience, so we are happy to be part of this. We have our focus, uh, we have our strength. Given time, we can make this institute go far.